Vying for a view in Venice. As the celebrities arrived for the start of the 75th film festival, there was plenty to get excited about. Whichever film goes on to take the top prize here in Venice, what's clear is that there's a great depth and a great variety of films on offer here. Critics are saying this is one of the strongest selections in many, many years. The opening film comes courtesy of Damien Chazelle, whose last movie, La La Land, also kicked off this festival two years ago before winning six Oscars. First Man is the story of how NASA astronaut Neil Armstrong became the first person to set foot on the moon. There are risks, but we have every intention of coming back. There are strong performances from Ryan Gosling in the lead role and from Claire Foy, who plays Armstrong's first wife, Janet. We don't have anything under control. <laughs> Another true story in the running is Peter Lou by British festival favourite Mike Lee. It's a historical drama set in 19th century northern England but should resonate with audiences around the world. When cavalry rode into a huge crowd who'd gathered to demand democratic reforms, it became known as the Peter Lou Massacre. Roma by Alfonso Cuaron is set in the more recent past. It's about a 1970s family in Mexico where Cuaron grew up. Like his last film, Gravity, which won the Oscar for Best Director, it's visually stunning, and it's one of 21 titles competing for Venice's top prize, the Golden Lion. We'll probably stop speaking to each other because the selection this year is incredibly rich and incredibly powerful. Our task is not easy, but uh, I believe that we are like midwives ushering new life into the world of cinema, and I know that uh, of all the festivals in the world, Venice is one of the rare ones that can actually change the life of a filmmaker, no matter what point of the career that filmmaker may be in. And over the next week and a half, there's a world of cinema on offer here, from big blockbusters to the most intimate documentaries, proving variety and Venice go hand in hand. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, at the Venice Film Festival.